Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day's going fantastic. Thanks so much for joining me. Well, I have a treat to share with you. Today we are creating with the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club Kit for September 2023. It is called the Boolicious Fall Cupcake. Super fun. There's 30 dies in here that, and it creates the most fantastic cupcake. I love cupcakes and this was super fun to play with. So we're going to jump in and get started. Um, I have a different color of uh, color palette here with purples and yellows and browns, but I love the way this turned out. We're going to start with some gold mirror cardstock. We're going to add both the cupcake base layers and then also the background for our sentiment. We're going to die cut out with that gold mirror cardstock. We're going to create a vanilla cupcake. So I have some alabaster cardstock. We'll die cut out the cupcake base with this along with um, one of the drip icing pieces. We're going to use the insert on the dark timber cardstock and then we're going to use the outline on the, the off white cardstock. We're going to alternate colors between the light brown and the dark brown. Dark brown is timber. Light brown is latte. All of these are col uh, Spellbinders color essentials. And I'll leave them a list over my blog and down below. The yellow is beeswax. Purple is plum. And we're going to have that um, fall leaf. We'll die cut out, that out with both those colors. Uh, the gourd with plum. And then um, another leaf with the yellow. We're going to do one more drip with that dark brown and then for my sentiment i'm going to die cut out yay fall with my alabaster so we're going to do a little bit of die cutting um oh you know what? let's do an acorn too we're going to throw in an acorn so the base with the light brown the top of the acorn with the dark brown everything is die cut out and i did die cut out a strip of that dark brown cardstock because i wanted um something to layer my cupcake on you don't have to you could do a little tucking with it but i think having a base behind the cupcake is going to help out whenever i do use my mirror cardstock it's always better for me i like to use my tape runner when i can because the glue takes a long time to dry on that that mirror cardstock so i hear both layers of the cupcake so we have a gold liner we'll take this liner and add it to the base which creates a vanilla cupcake i think that looks cute as it is <laughs> but we're going to add lots of frosting on top um, i'm going to take this add that strip behind it and this is what i mean to have a, a platform to, for all the layers this piece here is the first layer and then you have these two that layer together um, and then it, we're going to alternate the brown with the light and the dark we're going to go ahead and build our sentiment first, just adding that yay fall to that gold mirror. And then these are our layers. We have light brown, dark brown, and then top it with light. So that's basically what, how, how we're going to stack. I think that's so fun. I love drips on ice cream. <laughs> Oops, I'm calling it ice cream, but I love drips on frosting too. Let, this took me back. This made me want to bake. I love, because uh, fall and um, Christmas were my favorite times to bake cupcakes. Um, and I loved decorating with fondant, making fall leaves and sunflowers. Um, even, even Halloween, I went for a stretch. I had created some uh, cupcakes that were a little bit too scary, but <laughs> they were fun to make. But I layered these two together. I'm rambling, so I'll get busy. We're going to add glue behind this. And then we'll, we'll place this over the first layer. Now these layer beautifully together like a puzzle. So you just follow along the curve and it lays there perfectly. And if you wanted to do tucking with it rather than have that piece in the background, that would work too. So those are our two dripping layers. I want to take the light brown. We're going to add some glue behind here. And then I don't know why I'm going edge to edge with the glue. <laughs> because I, what I should have did was just add glue to that brown piece that we're stacking it on, and that would have made it a lot less messy. But I guess you know what they say about hindsight. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add my next layer, and I'm going to go edge to edge with that glue. And then I'm going to, for the top layer, the very last one, 
I'm going to take my scissors. We're going to trim away the excess of that, that strip we added to the back. I'll just trim it at a point so I can add that last layer and then we're good to go. Just wanted a home to put these, these layers on. Isn't that the cutest cupcake in the world? I think that would make cute Christmas tags. You could use this, make a Christmas cupcake, put a poinsettia on there, and then stick that on a gift. I just think that would be so cute. I love stuff like this. We're going to tuck our sentiment in, in one of the layers. There's lots of tuckable elements too. There's another sentiment in there that says boo. There's ghost. There are bones. The bones are cute. <laughs> There's like a little poison. You can make a little poison sign with the crisscross bones. I thought that was adorable. There's so many fun elements in this kit this month. I'm going to take both of my fall leaves. We're going to tack them at the very top. Give it a little bit of height. I did that because we're going to make a mini slimline card and this is going to fit the front of the card beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and take some foam squares, put them behind my cupcake, and then we will build our acorn. To do that, it's very easy. We just add a little glue to the top and then we can add our darker acorn topper and our acorn is done. I love when their layers are easy to put together. <laughs> okay, we are going to work on our background next. And we are, um, I have a panel. My panel measures three inches by six inches tall. And then we are gonna emboss this panel with the Mandela Bloom uh, embossing folder. This is the Spellbinders 3D embossing folder. I created a video with this earlier. I'll link it at the end, but this is such a pretty embossing folder. That's embossed, and then I am going to create my card base, my slimline card base. This panel is six and a half inches wide, and it is six and a quarter inches tall. I'm scoring at the three and a quarter inch mark. We'll just reinforce that score line, and then this panel is going to fit beautifully right in the middle. Okay, we are going to go ahead and, and ink blend on the edges, add some more of that plum color. I'm using my Memento ink. This is Sweet Plum, and it works perfectly with the ribbon that I'm going to be using and also with the plum cardstock on our cupcake. I'm just going around the edges with the plum. Um, you can fill in the entire background if you want it, but the cupcake's pretty large and it's going to cover up the middle, so I'm not worried about the middle. After I have plum all along the edges, I'm bringing in my black ink. This is Memento Tuxedo Black, and I love, love the way this looks. I think it looks, um, it does look Halloween-ish, so it goes with the seasons. Um, it looks fall to me, but it also looks very regal. So I love plum and black together. So we have our background all complete. We're going to put away our ink. I'm going to bring in some ribbon. Now the ribbon I'm using is new from Spellbinders. They have um, a whole bunch of ribbon and it is so pretty. I'm using the Vivant double faced satin ribbon. It's five, eighth, five eighths of an inch wide. And the color I'm using is old lilac. It, it coordinates beautiful. I haven't used ribbon on a card in a long time. Actually, I take that back. No, I've used some gingham ribbon. <laughs> I still like ribbon on my cards. Like, I, I guess I'm kind of old school, <laughs> but I, I do like ribbon on cards. But this just came out of Spellbinders. So I'll link it down below. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but you can tell the quality of the ribbon. It's double-faced, meaning there's no front or back. It's all front. So it makes tying a bow a lot easier. Anyway, I adhered my cupcake to my panel. Now we're going to go ahead and add our purple gourd and then our yellow fall leaf. And then we'll add our acorn. Lastly, I'm going to pop that acorn up with a foam square for a little extra dimension. And then we'll take this panel and I will glue it down to the front of my mini slimline card. For bells and whistles, I'm bringing in some Spellbinders Color Essential Gems. This is the Aura 
color. It has a yellow tint to it and I thought it would bring out the yellow from the leaves. And then that's my project today. Today using the Spellbinders Boolicious Fall Cupcake die set. It's from Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club Kit for September 2023. Have a fabulous day. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.